All right, in this quick video, I want to talk about a very important logistical and pedagogical topic, and that is where your music stand goes on mallet instruments. Um, now, with most percussion instruments, we want to put the stand high so that the music and the conductor are all in one field of vision so that we can read the music and see the conductor in our periphery or watch the conductor and see the music in our periphery. Most percussion instruments, this works perfectly great because for instance, like the snare drum, it's not going anywhere. Once you have a kinesthetic sense of where it is, it stays there. Mallet instruments do not work the same way, especially for sight reading. For mallet instruments, because we are dealing with a wide amount of physical space, right? So even on the vibraphone here, I'm still dealing with about five feet of space that I have to manage. And a lot of targets, we want to put the music in a place that will maximize our efficiency in hitting correct notes. And again, this is especially necessary for sight reading. So what I'm going to do, instead of putting the stand up here where the conductor is now in my line of sight, I'm going to put the stand down as low as possible so that as I'm looking at the music I can now see the majority of the keyboard that I'm gonna need in my peripheral vision so I can read the music and play the notes as I'm going All right so I'm keeping my eyes on the music and just using my kinesthetic sense and my peripheral vision to play the keyboard. Another way that you can even help this, and we talked about this a little bit in class, is get away from the instrument. If you take one step away from the keyboard, vibraphone is a limited case because you have the pedal you have to contend with, but marimba and glockenspiel especially. If you take one step back from the keyboard, I can see every single note on the vibraphone in my peripheral vision right now. I can hit the lowest note or the highest note with just a glance of the eye and a physical movement, I don't even really have to take my eyes off the music, right? So while I'm sight reading, I'm reading the notes here and I'm actually seeing them in my periphery here to make sure that I'm hitting the correct note. Or if I do need to look down real quick to see where I am, then the process of looking down and up is a lot faster than if I have to go all the way up and all the way down each time, all right? So that's an important pedagogical um, and logistical difference of keyboard instruments, uh, specific to keyboard instruments, as opposed to instruments in the rest of the percussion family.